Well, finally, of course, uh, African teams may be all out at the World Cup, but the continent's culture lives on through dance. The European nation may not be the first place you think of when you think about African dance, but one all-girls group in Moscow is aiming to bring Africa to Russia. Mahe Mutua tells us more. Hello, everybody. I'm Julia. My name is Irina. I'm Julia, too, and together we're the Girls. Girls! Dancing to a different beat in the Russian capital. This trio has made a name for themselves through their love of African dance. Dancing a wide variety of African styles like Ndombolo, Kupe de Kale, Azonto, Afro House, Jaze, and Kuduro, the Donga girls are living out their passion for the art form. We are also passionate about this culture, about this music, people, uh, not only dance. It's also, we also make our research all the time, learn whenever we go outside to Europe or even Africa, we've been there. So we're trying to travel more and more and look for people who can give us information. All three picked up dance, especially in more traditional styles at an early age, before drifting towards African styles. They met each other in 2013 and the Donga Girls was formed a year later. And with the World Cup coming to Russia, the trio especially caught the eye when they threw their support behind two African sides dancing for Nigeria and Senegal. We just uh, decided to support Africa, like African countries and cultures. We know that Morocco also Africa, like but black we know Africa. It's, yes, we need black Africa, real African cultures. So if there were more countries like some Angola, I don't know, something else, we support them also. It's like about supporting Africa. We are not football players, we're not yeah. that good at football, frankly speaking, but uh, yeah, we support Africa anywhere, yeah. anywhere. <laughs> Oh, yes. It's not been an easy journey for the girls. Getting these music and dance styles to be widely accepted in Russia is still an uphill task, but it's working. And they start little by little uh, getting to know also dancing to this music, so we're trying to teach, we're trying to spread it all over Russia. And um, a lot of people come into the capital where we're trying to move, to um, organize some workshops, festivals, and uh, yeah, spread it more. With the advent of the internet, the girls now use their burgeoning online platform on sites like YouTube to spread their art beyond just Moscow. Aiming to bring out African culture in a nation where the continent's advances haven't been fully welcomed, groups like the Donga Girls are prying the door open one dance at a time. And it's not just themselves. The three are just as passionate about teaching and passing on what they know to others, and it's paying off. I'm proud to be a Donga Girl student. But everybody knows that Donga Girls are... <laughs> Sorry, but they are the best in Russia. <laughs> African dancers. Yes. Um, and I'm proud to be their student. For now, the girls want to widen the love of their art form in Russia while educating as well. I want to see the community growing here, not only dancing, but, you know, Africans coming here to Russia, feeling here safe, feeling, feeling here friendly and, you know, enjoying it here and people to be open-minded, you know, to uh, sharing cultures. Through their love for dance, the Donga girls are hoping to change not just the image of African culture in Russia, but also that of outsiders towards Russians themselves. Mahe Mutua CGTN, Moscow, Russia.